realize that the only reason that the V-Spot has been able to stay in business the first year is that we have this very large group of uh, loyal customers that just continue to support us and we're really creating a great environment, a great little community coming right out of the V-Spot and we figure why not just say thank you, you know, have some food, some music. Uh, I was vegan, lived in Sunset Park, was traveling miles to go get vegan food and uh, right now I'm really have, I've grown so much since that point and I understand, you know, I'm not really focused on money and instead just look to other goals like environmentalism, veganism, you know, just overall just uh, trying to help create a more compassionate community, you know, little by little as much as we can. What I would like to do when I'm working on now in terms of the website for, for the restaurant is I would really like to move a little bit more beyond just having the restaurant and I'd like to get a little more involved in, in general, me personally, I'd like to get involved in certain things like spreading the idea of veganism to more people. I had a friend um, recently visiting from Chicago and I brought her here and we got um, the nachos, which they're serving tonight as well. And she was blown away by them and by the fake ground beef on them and said I had no idea that eating vegan food could be so good. Our mission here really uh, at the V-Spot is to not only to bring food to vegans and vegetarians, but it's also to let these om omnivores and carnivores know that it is just very normal, everyday food. There are different varieties of vegan food like anything else. You can have Indian vegan food, you can have raw vegan food, gourmet vegan food. And I, uh, since I started playing guitar, I learned popular music from Latin America, from South America. I know that they serve Colombian food, but vegan. What's interesting about Colombian food especially is that Colombian food always has meat on it. It's very strong in, the, in Colombian culture to, to have meat. If you don't have meat, people think, they feel that they're not being fed, really. So to take those uh, dishes that are so meat-oriented and, and turning into a vegan uh, dish, I think is very, very interesting. It's the first time I've ever really had my stuff anywhere. People who come in don't really know it's mine, so I'm, you know, I'm busting tables and maybe I'll hear a comment about it or something. It's good to get like people's input and see like what they like, what they don't like. I just saw the sign and it just was like seemed like a place I would kind of like. And um, I guess like for me it's like just the community that is associated with maybe people that don't eat meat or that, not like if you're bad, if you eat meat or something, whatever, but um, just like that just environmentally conscious kind of artistic, looking at the world a little bit differently. Um, I guess that's what I want to be around and so that's what drew me into here. Most meat eaters that come here, that I speak to at least, they tell me they're overwhelmed. They just can't even believe that how wrong they were and how they're actually full. Some people tell me, I can't believe I'm actually full. I can't believe how delicious the food was. When they learn about my diet, they go, how, well, why are you so big? And you look like a football player. Um, and I tell them, I said, hey, look, yeah, you know, uh, part of being a vegetarian is also responsibility uh, for one's diet, for one's uh, healthy practice. And so I think it's uh, with veganism as well uh, that um, that there are a lot of misconceptions, but you know we're breaking the stereotypes. It can really help uh, omnivores realize that uh, it's not as crazy as they think, and I think that's very important because it can help them realize they don't have to sacrifice as much as they thought to just eat meat a little bit less, maybe even try to become vegetarian. I think this restaurant helps uh, because it lets you realize how good uh, vegan food can be, and people who are scared. You know, like I was in the beginning, when I heard of soy chicken nuggets, things like that, I was just afraid of it, I didn't like, I felt bad for the fact that animals get, you know, kind of tortured sometimes before they're, before they're, um, you know, killed in the process, and, I, and it did make me feel really bad, but I didn't care enough, and I was too afraid to try vegan food, and when I tried this food, I think it, um, it changed me, and it made me, you know, feel, feel a lot better, and made me realize that vegan food can be really good. I like the 
jerk chicken wrap. Jerk chicken wrap is really, really good. I love the nachos. The nachos, definitely. And the nachos. I love the classic burger with the bacon. Chicken burrito. The chicken burrito is amazing. Yeah, the chicken nuggets and the chicken nuggets and the burrito. I really love everything. The tortilla salad is just really good. The chicken cutlet hero. Mushroom salad. Arepas, which are kind of like corn tortillas. Spaghetti and meatballs. The guacamole is incredible. Sweet plantains. Chicken parmesan. Bandeja paisa. Bandeja paisa. Bandeja paisa from the view spot. It's really nice. Soy steak, soy chorizo, which is a, a type of sausage. The best dessert is the um, carrot cake. The cookie and cream pie is amazing. The cheesecakes with the brownie chocolate salt. The desserts are completely addictive. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. it, it it's amazing. They're incredibly good. I think I'm going to enjoy it.